Why is this guy comparing these two bikes? They're not even in the same class. Doesn't he know that the Honda Transalp and Suzuki V-Strom 800 have come out to challenge the Tenere 700 in a similar displacement and price range? The Africa Twin is a much bigger, more powerful and expensive motorcycle with a lot more tech on it. So why the Africa Twin instead of the Transalp? Because the Africa Twin is more competitive with the Tenere 700 off-road. Let's face it, the Transalp is a pavement and gravel bike while the Africa Twin can jam off-road if you have the skills to ride it there. And the base Africa Twin is lighter than the V-Strom 800 and has way more suspension and ground clearance. So how do they compare? I've spent a lot of time on the Twin and own the T7. In fact, I have a whole playlist on it that you can check out in the top right corner. I've ridden both on and off-road extensively and can give you a realistic and honest look at what to expect from both motorcycles. So stay tuned and if you enjoy this content, please consider supporting this small channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons and sharing this video with friends. First, let's face it. These motorcycles are not comparable in terms of price, power and technology. The base Tenere 700 costs 10,500 US dollars or 13,500 Canadian. Now if you live in Europe, you may have a choice of four more models which are pricier. Check out my Tenere 700 buyer's guide in the top right corner. However, the most expensive T7, the World Raid with the dual tanks and fancy suspension is still less pricey than the Africa Twin which runs 14,500 US, never mind the bigger adventure sports model at 17,300. Side note, in this video I'll primarily discuss the base Africa Twin. However, I have more footage of me riding the adventure sports which is why you'll see more of that bike. The T7 and Africa Twin do share many similarities. Both are Japanese, extremely reliable 270 degree parallel twins, sport 21 inch front and 18 inch rear wheels and are off-road oriented adventure motorcycles which are a bit smaller and lighter than the competition. And despite the Africa Twin being quite a bit pricier, both are a good value for what you get, because you pay more for the Honda, but you also get more. Power-wise, the Honda is up on the Tenere in displacement, 1084cc to 689cc, horsepower 101 to 74, and torque 77 to 50. Yes, the Tenere is lighter, 452 pounds to 505 pounds, but despite the T7 being no slouch, the Africa Twin is noticeably more powerful. Off the line, the Honda isn't quicker by much, but that's because it's much higher geared. The Africa Twin gets to 6th much later, but also feels far more relaxed once there. The higher gearing and larger engine allows for lower revs at highway speeds, which make it faster and better suited for long hauling on the interstate. The Tenere's lower gearing makes the Yamaha the better bike for navigating tight off-road trails. Perhaps because of that gearing, the T7's engine, despite being smaller, is very difficult to lug down on trails with steep hills. The Honda does the same trails a gear lower, and in first gear sometimes needs some clutch work to finesse the bike on super slow sections. The automatic DCT Africa Twins are better on flowy trails and will never stall on an uphill, but they are 20 pounds heavier, more expensive, and don't allow you to modulate the bike's speed with the clutch, something that most dirt riders are well used to. The stock Tenere 700 weighs 452 pounds while the base Africa Twin tips the scales at 505. The Honda includes a rear luggage rack while the Tenere doesn't have one. I find the Tenere to be more nimble both on and off pavement. On twisty roads it transitions faster from side to side while on tight trails it navigates turns more easily due to less inertial mass. The Africa Twin is more stable at high speeds and on long sweepers, but there's no denying that on tight twists and especially off-road, the Tenere is easier to maneuver and handle. When you want better dirt performance, just add more lightness. The base Africa Twin has fully adjustable front and rear suspension with 9.5 inches of travel in the forks and 8.7 in the shock compared to the Tenere's 8.2 front and 7.9 rear. Additionally, the standard Tenere does not offer spring preload adjustment in the fork. A couple of the new Tenere models rival the Honda in travel and adjustability, but they are not available in Canada where I live. The Africa Twin suspension is also beefier and Honda also offers an electronically adjustable option on the Adventure Sports. I've ridden an older standard model and a newer Adventure Sports and have to admit that the older Africa Twin had a bit of a wallowy front end. 
The new one with the electronic suspension is superb and definitely higher quality than what comes on the Yamaha. However, it's a lot pricier, so you get what you pay for. In terms of electronics, the Tenere is easy. The current model has ABS which can either be turned off on the rear or on both. There is also an optional quick shifter. The Africa Twin has it all. The ABS, optional quick shifter, 6 rider modes including gravel, off-road and 2 user programmable ones. It has cruise control, 6 axis IMU which adjusts traction control and ABS to lean conditions. It even has a larger tank and considerably more range. The Tenere 16 liter tank gets you about 280 kilometers down the road while the standard Africa Twin's 19 liter tank will take you 350 or more. When it comes to looks, I like the Tenere's design and shape better, but have to admit that when you look closely, the Honda's details and fit and finish are superior. Neither bike will disappoint and both have that aggressive rally styling that adventure riders have come to value. Which one you choose will depend on the kind of riding you do and how much you want the fancy electronics which help tame the Africa Twin's big motor but which are not really necessary on the less powerful Tenere. On the road it's no contest, the Africa Twin is better at almost everything. It's faster, smoother, more relaxed, has cruise control, traction control, can carry more, has a far more comfortable seat and feels a lot more refined. If you're trying to blast an extremely twisty road like the Tail of the Dragon in the Smoky Mountains, the Tenere might fare better because it's lighter. Everywhere else, speed, comfort, refinement, electronic amenities, the Africa Twin wins. Off-road the tables turn. Yes, the Honda has better suspension and more ground clearance, but the Yamaha's weight advantage counts for more. Light is right in the dirt and the Yamaha is lighter, thinner and feels and rides more like a dirt bike. Its suspension is adequate for all but the most aggressive riders and if you're going to go nuts off-road you should really be on an enduro, not an adventure bike. The Yamaha is still good on pavement, not as good as the Africa Twin but close enough and it's $4000 less. You can get riding gear and a whole whack of accessories for less than that. So which one is better? If you're going to have only one bike and you will be banging around off-road frequently, the Tenere is the better choice. If you are looking to tour and still maintain some good off-roading capability, the Honda wins. Money no object, I'd ride an Africa Twin Adventure Sports and keep a KTM 500 EXC for serious trails. But money is an object and I love my Tenere 700. If I want to hit rougher dirt, I just borrow my wife Brooks CRF 300L Rally. So I hope that helps. There are a lot of channels out there doing spec sheet comparisons which aren't very helpful. It takes some time and serious miles on a bike to get a feel for it and I've ridden both of these beautiful motorcycles in varying conditions, including some extreme ones. If you're as fond of Japanese reliability as I am and you want a big adventure bike that can deal with some serious off-road action, these are your two best bets. Which one you choose will depend on your budget and priorities, though honestly you can't lose with either. Which one are you leaning towards and why? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and adventure on!